Now I'm going to do my horror section. I'm going to show a bunch of horror films from different genre, subgenres, and stuff. So here we go. Here we have um, Bloody Mary, Mortuary, Salvage, and Memory. I liked a couple of these films. The Mortuary, I didn't like the ending. I put it on the disc like this so that it, you know, it could fit. Here's the re a remake that I do enjoy. I know Ramparaf does. House on Haunted Hill, the remake. I thought it was a fun film. I put it in a PS3 box, that's why it's sticking out, but pretty inventive. I have uh, vampire films, like the original Lost Boys, definitely the best of the bunch. The two discs. Awesome movie. Thou shalt not lie. Awesome, that's just freaking awesome. And here's an underrated sequel, Lost Boys the Thirst. I don't have The Tribe, because I think The Tribe sucks. It's not a sequel at all. It's more like a remake. Corey Feldman's awesome in this movie. Definitely a step up. Here's some more vampire flicks. We got Nadja, uh, Vampire Wars, The Undead Express, and The Case of the Whitechapel Vampire, which I thought was kind of boring. But out of these four, I didn't mind uh, like three of them. So that's not too bad. Here's Mirrors. I've showed that before. Here's a, a movie with Ensodio Sabato Jr., called Drifter. Henry Lee Lucas is pretty much a psychological thriller. Very intense movie. I mean, so Antonio Sabato does a good job in this movie. Here's a film I shown before, which I, I really do enjoy this film, Bloodlines. Thank you guys for watching this, uh, you know, Hidden Gems video that I did of this film. It's definitely worth your time. I'm glad there was a girl that liked this movie. Uh, it's really an underrated gem. Definitely better than the Evil Dead remake. I'm going to say that right now. Here's some zombie films that I have. Not in any particular order. Land of the Dead. Yes, I do enjoy this movie. I bought this in a yard sale last year. Really, really awesome flick. To me, anyway. I, I thought it was decent. Here's some four zombie midnight horror collection. You got I Am Omega, which I did enjoy. It's an asylum film I did. Awaken, Awake the Dead it was boring as hell right here. Then you had this film, which was lackluster. Last of... A living, but Grave Mistake was a shot on horror film, and I actually did like it. I thought it was pretty okay. So, two out of four isn't that bad. At least half of them I enjoyed, so it's better than nothing. Here's uh, Automated Transfusion, one of the best zombie films in decades. I agree, and then there's a sequel coming out. Hopefully, it'll be like the collection that it's actually, you know, good and not a cash grab. Here's uh, House of the Dead 2. I've shown this before. I want to see this film again. I really did enjoy this film. I know a lot a lot of people don't like this film, but compared to the first film, this film is a masterpiece in comparison. And the action's really good. It's, it's uh, Marines Against Zombies. You can't go wrong. Here's uh, Flight of the Living Dead again. And this was uh, the first unpackaging I did earlier this year. Resident Evil Apocalypse. Yeah, the, one of the few Resident Evil films I can tolerate. Definitely a guilty pleasure, I must say. Here's the uh, here's a double bill of Waxwork 1 and 2, Lost in Time. Very fun movies, really, really inventive. The references in the films are really well done, and the films definitely hold up for me. Here's some uh, creature features and werewolf films. You got um, the Bare Bones of Ginger Snaps, which I like this movie. I mean, I don't like the ending because it's kind of downbeat, but I did like um, Emily Perkins, uh, the girl that played the emo chick. She's just dead sexy. I love looking at her. Uh, Catherine Isabel, decent. I don't think she's horrible. The film Chris Lem Lemch, I don't even know who that is, to be honest with you. And Mimi Rogers, I've always loved her. She's just a beautiful woman, really, really good actress. It is what it is, you know? Here's a prequel. I like this prequel better. Um, Ginger Snaps Back, the beginning. I like this prequel because it's not as downbeat as the first film. And I did enjoy Gin uh, Ginger Snaps 2 or 3 Unleashed. Uh, I, I saw it like a couple of months back. Here's the original Howling. You can't go wrong with the original Howling. I hope it never gets remade. This is one of the best werewolf movies ever made. I agree. I still haven't seen Dog Soldiers. I want to. Rambo Ref said it was a good movie. And out of the Howling films, all I got left is Part 7, which is considered the worst. But I still want to watch it at least once. Here's a sequel, The Howling 2. 
okay sequel very weird though definitely out there this is a sequel that I really did enjoy. I thought it was, you know, a lot of fun, and I actually cared about the creatures in this movie. It sounds weird, but I did like Howling 3, the marsupials. Yes, it's nothing like the first two films, but I still like it. I still think this is a fun werewolf film, and the creatures are very, very sympathetic. You know, you actually feel for them, and that made me, you know, glad, because, you know, I didn't hate them. So, Howling 3, not that bad. Here's uh, four bill of Howling 4, uh, Kraken, Tentacles of the Deep, Night Shadow, and Raging Sharks. Yeah. And here's a double bill of Howling 5 and 6, which I showed before. Howling 5 I liked, 6 sucked, the big one. So even if I hate Part 7, I think 6 is the worst ones that I have. Okay, now the Kaiju films, I did this, do it quickly. Here's Godzilla vs. Mothra. King Ghidorah, you know, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, Invasion of Astro Monster, Godzilla Raids Again, King Kong Escapes, fun movie, Gamera Guardian of the Universe, Terror of Mechagodzilla, Godzilla vs. Biollante, which I actually, I saw it again a couple of years back, and I liked it, and Godzilla Final Wars, so that's the end of those. Now we have the uh, slasher films, so I'm going to start with the top, we got uh, Scream 4, I don't have the first three screams, but I enjoyed most of them. Simon Says with uh, Crispin Glover and uh, Blake Lively. No, it's false advertising. Blake Lively's in like the last five minutes of the movie. It says as fun as Evil Dead 2. Not really, but I did not hate this movie. I actually liked it. Uh, Crispin Glover's performance was pretty good. I like the girls in the movie, like uh, Margot Harshman. I think she's very sexy. And uh, I, li I do like Kelly Vitz. I think she's cute. Um, Daniela Monet's in this film, you know, from Victorious, but she's barely in it. She's in the last five minutes. But it is what it is. I, I had a fun time with it. I know Rambo Ref didn't care for it, but I do like it. Well, I better speed up because it's going to be 12 minutes soon. You got uh, the Jack, Jack Hadmer Massacre. Really, really messed up film. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. It says, move over Leatherface, here comes the Jack Hadmer Massacre. Fun film, though. I still couldn't get my eyes off it. Here's the Puppet Master sequels of 4, 5, and 6. 4 and 5 were fun. 6 sucked the big one. Here's the first three films. I really do enjoy these Puppet Master films. I'm a huge fan of them. I do like them. The effects are awesome. The characters are really, really fun. Here's Child's Play 2. I don't have the first film, but I did see them. I saw the first three films. I have not seen Bride of Chucky or Seed of Chucky. And a remake, after those, I welcome it as long as they get Brad Dourif to do the voice again and they don't use too much CGI. They stick with practical effects like this one and the first one. Because then it'll look like crap. Here's another four bill. You got uh, Prom Night, Skeleton Man, and The Nurse. I didn't like The Nurse. It just, you know, I didn't like the lead in it. Prom Night, I think it's all right. And Skeleton Man, I enjoyed. I, it's a good performance from, uh, what's his face? Um, I forgot his name. Um, Michael Rooker, yeah. He's a good actor in this, in Skeleton Man. You know, they are what they are. You can't... Slasher films are never meant to be, you know, high art. They're just fun movies. Here's Prom Night 2. Grizzly is like a Brent De Palma movie for slasher films. I liked it. Now we have, um... The remake of The Stepfather. Yeah. I didn't hate it. I thought it was alright. My Bloody Valentine, the remake, three in 3D. See, these are some remakes that I actually actually enjoy because they're not boring, and I thought they were, you know, you know, better than the ones like Nightmare on Elm Street and, and Evil Dead and and freaking, uh, you know, the Halloween, which I haven't seen yet, but I know it sucks. Here's uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, fun sequel. Screw the 3D movie. That movie can suck it. This was a fun sequel. This is the true sequel to the original, not the 3D movie. Here's the first four films in the Nightmare on Elm Street 
film, you know, franchise, awesome movies. I love all four of these films are really good. I do enjoy part two. Yes, I like part two. All oh, the gay overtones. It was kind of needed in a way because it was a nice change of pace. Three and four are fun sequels. I will never forget the Dream Warriors and all the imaginative kills and, you know, Alice. The introduction of Alice was just cool. And, of course, I love Nancy in the first th film and the third film. And even the new Nightmare, which is what I get. Five and six can suck my ass. Here's a fun crossover, Freddy vs. Jason. Definitely a fun flick. I mean, I saw it for Freddy and Jason, you know. These two were the reason to see the film right there. I rented this years ago, and I really did enjoy it. So, there's Freddy vs. Jason. The Leprechaun films, yeah, I like them. I know a lot of people hate them. I know they say they're terrible, but I enjoy the campiness and the cheesiness of the first four Leprechaun films. I'm even willing to see the uh, In the Hood films as well. Hold on, I'm freezing a little bit. Okay, now. Halloween 4, awesome sequel. 5 and 6 sucked. But at least the first four films are fun. Um, Halloween H2O, definitely a worthy sequel to Part 4, especially since, you know, it took so long to get Jamie Lee Curtis to come back. But she came back and she was awesome here. Here's, uh, the Friday the 13th films. I only have the sequels. I don't have the first film, the first four films, but I do have five. Okay, but not my favorite. Six, this is my absolute favorite. Jason Lives. I love this. That's just fun to, to touch. It really is. Evil ne Lives Forever. Yeah, Jason comes back as a zombie. Awesome. Yeah, the cover is not the best, but I do. It's my favorite horror film of all time. Definitely. Definitely my favorite slasher of all time. Here's another one with the hologram. Uh, part 7. It kind of sucks that this one was cut because it really was a fun movie. And it says... Her mind awoke Jason from the dead. Yeah. Um, what's her name? Tina? Really good actress. I actually liked um, the girl that played Tina in this movie. Um, what's her face? Laura Park Lincoln? She was a fun lead in this movie. I actually do enjoy her. She should have came back for Part 8. That would have definitely made Part 8 a lot better. But here, I have Part 8. Look. Takes Manhattan. I, it has its moments. It's not. It's definitely a weak film, but it's not like, oh my god, this is so unwatchable. I will take this over a remake that just screws up, you know, another, a sequel to a remake that's even worse. But I don't mind the remake. But this one I like. That's a guilty pleasure. Here's a very underrated sequel that's kind of like, you know, its own film. Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. Yeah, it doesn't say The Final Friday, but that was what it's originally called. Fun movie. I mean, it's like the hit, and I, I recognize that, and I liked it for what it was. Definitely the bloodiest of the franchise. And here's another one that people will be shocked that I have. Jason X. Yeah. Jason in Space, not the worst thing that I've ever seen in my life, trust me. I've seen horror films that will make you cringe. Okay, so now I have uh, my creature features. I'm going to show these quickly. You got Piranha, the 3D version, the movie, not Double D, that movie can suck it as well. This movie is a complete blast run, don't walk, yeah. I like this film. I saw it in the theater and I had a good time with that one. 3 Double D, no. I'm probably never going to own it. Deep Blue Sea, fun creature feature with Thomas Jane and LL Cool J and Samuel Jackson. And I wanted to do a hit of gems of this, but you guys saw it. I do like this movie, pretty fun. Beast. Love Krista Allen in this movie. She is just awesome. Very sexy and very tough lead. And I have the Tremors films. First one on Blu-ray, which I gotta show my Blu-rays next time. Tremors 2. Awesome sequel. Definitely lives up to the first one. And Tremors 3. I don't have part 4. Still haven't seen it. I will see it one day though. Here's the original pumpkin head, bare bones, no features. Some of these have features and some don't. Mega Snake, yeah. You know, it's cheap. I like monster movies. And it has a lot of gore, so can't go wrong with that. Um, here's the DNA, Marta Cascos. 
kind of a rip off of Predator, but I do like it over Predators, that's for sure. Fun movie. And uh, Python, yeah. I actually like this film. I'm guilty as charged, I do like this film. Here's a Boa with Dean Cain. Dean Cain is awesome in almost everything he's in. I did watch Lois and Clark as a kid, and he was gr a great Superman, better than this new guy. Uh, Boa versus Python. All right, you know, not the best effects, but still, still, you know, tolerable. Here's uh, Anaconda's Two: Blood Search for the Blood Orchid, my favorite. I don't have the first film because I can't stand J Lo. And three and four. Yeah, I do like the girl in it, Crystal, Crystal Allen. Not the worst actress ever. And you know, Rambo Ref, see Christ, uh, Kristen Stewart. She's a lot worse. <laughs> and she gets paid a lot. And here's my superhero films to end it off. You got uh, Black Scorpion. Really enjoy this film. I know I showed it before. Just Joan Severance. I absolutely love this woman in this role. She just stole my heart in these films. Very sexy woman still to this day. Black Scorpion 2. Decent sequel. Didn't care for the Spanish in it and a lot of the weird stuff, but it was still a fun sequel. Ultimate Avengers 2. Here's the first one. Can't wait for Iron Man 3 in a couple of weeks. And of course we have the original Iron Man. Love this movie. Can't wait for 3. 3 is going to blow me away. I know it. I can feel that the second, you know, the phase 2 of the Avengers is going to be absolutely mind-blowing. And then the Avengers... My fourth favorite movie of all time. Love this movie. Just just a great experience in the theater. And a great Blu-ray. So that's uh, my first part of the shelf. And I'm going to do the next part next time. So later.